a little bit different. Every thought and every physical process requires energy, yep. but the output of the process through which that energy is used is to increase entropy. The amount of energy can stay fixed, but the energy degrades over time. And that degraded energy is what we mean by disorder or entropy. The reason why this is important is the following. Right now, as we're talking, I am producing a lot of entropy, hopefully not in the ideas that I'm communicating, but rather because I am giving off heat. I am emitting waste to the environment. And if you had the right instrument, you'd see the infrared light coming off of my head. That is turning energy into less useful energy. That infrared radiation is hard to make use of. That is what we mean by entropy. In this room, this room is very good at being able to absorb the heat, the waste, the entropy I'm producing. But in the far future, as the temperature of the universe comes down, you can argue convincingly with mathematics that there will come a point when the universe can't absorb the entropy, it can't absorb the heat that thought itself creates.